It's Father's Day this weekend, and in Niagara Falls, that can only mean one thing. The return of the Rotary Club of Niagara Falls Sunrises Rotary Rib Fest. Like everything else, COVID has changed the way guests can enjoy some fabulous ribs. However, with a little preparing and planning, the club is able to continue this tradition and raise funds for their Rotary charities. One, two, three, Yeah, this is our drive-through edition of our uh, historical rib fest that we uh, have always done on Father's Day weekend. Um, last summer, you had more of a scaled-down rib fest due to the pandemic. What did you learn last year that you've incorporated into this year's rib fest? A big thing for us is just making sure we've spaced out everything for all all of the participants. We want to make this the best experience possible. So what we've done is is we've made sure there's enough space for the vehicles to get around. There's no confusion for them, and and just lots of of signage, both promoting all of our wonderful sponsors and also making sure all of our uh, attendees can get through everything easily and get what they want. You know, Billy Bones and Camp 31 have been amazing with us, and it wasn't a problem at all. We Last year we said, hey, we want to plan for Father's Day weekend and, and, and keep that tradition alive, and they were great with us. They said, yeah, they put us right in the calendar, and, and we made it happen. Well, thanks for having us back. It's great being here. Uh, the pandemic, it's wrecked the schedule a little bit with the fact that we used to have the open air festival idea. Now we're down to the drive through car model idea. It's working out and I'm so happy to see that all the people are coming, uh, but we'd really like to get back to the other model where people are picnicking around the ribs and having fun in the park with children. And are you seeing people coming out that are just happy to be out of the house and get back to their normal life? Oh, for sure. These people are ecstatic that they're coming out here. They're loving that we're here. We're loving that they're here. Uh, and thanks to the Rotary and good advertising, uh, this is going to be a great event. And yeah, these people, you can see them in line, that they're loving it. They absolutely love this. From past interviews, all of our ribbers tell us that the secret to a great rib is the sauce. Can you give us a little hint as to what goes into your sauce that makes your ribs so special? Well, we're not going to give you the recipe. That's one thing that'll never happen. But I'll make sure you get a bottle on the way out. Uh, you got to try it. I think you're going to love it. As you can see with the drive through method, it's a whole new system. We had to totally pivot. We had to totally reinvent the whole event industry, basically. The event industry has been pretty decimated. Uh, so, But we came up with this drive through method. It's worked out awesome. We did two great events here in Niagara Falls last year, raised a ton of money for the Rotary, local communities, local charities that need it. And we're happy to be back this year uh, on uh, Father's Day weekend. So we hope to see you guys out. It, it, it's been hard because we love interacting with our customers. We, you know, we love that intimate relationship we have with our customers we love seeing the same people come every day especially in our restaurant in Paris Ontario we have the regular customers that are just it's been tough for them to come in all the time um, but we've developed a good system we can still communicate with the customers and get them that fantastic barbecue that they know and that they crave can you give us a hint of what goes into your sauce and what makes them so special? I can't give you any specific ingredients. That's uh, that's uh, just the secret rule there. Uh, but it, it's a multitude of things. It's it's the sauce, but it begins with the dry rub. How you treat that raw piece of meat? You have to rub it. You have to cook it low and slow. Uh, barbecue is a noun, not a verb. It, it's a whole process, um, and it takes us from early in the morning until when we open at 11 o'clock. So sauce is just one part of it, uh, but it is definitely is an important part but sweet and a little bit of smoky is what uh, keeps the people coming back for sure. We've definitely had to change our event slightly. We've still been able to do our, our TV auction and mega auction, which we've done with the support of Kojiko. And with Ribfest, we've had to transition to a drive through event. Otherwise, we've added some different types of fundraisers to our, our typical calendar year. And, and our fundraising uh, proceeds are down slightly, but I'm very happy with the club's efforts. We've really gone full steam ahead to do what we can for the community. And the community has been incredible in, in answering to our call for support. The parks have been incredible with us as well. A uh, big thank you to, to uh, Sandy Bellows and David Adames. Uh, when, when we expressed interest in being back here, they were, were happy to work with us and, and help us get into place. So they've been absolutely incredible. But are there any other Rotary events taking place this summer that our viewers can look forward to? Of course, we have a couple events. On July 10th, we have uh, another bottle drive. This will be our third bottle drive since the pandemic started. That's taking place at Gordon Wright Limited on Don Murray Street in Niagara Falls. So that's July 10th. 
And currently what we have going on is we're working in partnership with Blackburn Brewing and we're doing a Hops for Hope lager and proceeds from every can do come to our Rotary Club and that's happening the entire month of June. So for any alcoholic needs, please hop on over to Blackburn Brewing to grab some Hops for Hope. The club's Rip Fest was a success. Dale mentioned some pretty great future Rotary events. Be sure to check out their website for more information. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Kennedy Reynolds.